the urinary bladder meridians of foot grade young. The urinary, uh, I mean, this begins near, near where the small intestine meridians ends at the inner cantus. The meridian then flows to the vertex running parallel to the midline and going over to the occiput. At the occiput, it divides into two parallel lines to the midline and runs all the way down to the back to the legs. These two lines become one again at the knee, after which there is only one line that flows on the back of the calf and to the lateral side of the foot, ending at the lateral corner of the little toe. From this point, it connects up with the point kidney one of the kidney meridian. The inner branches meet point D20 at the vertex and enter the brain. At the lumbar region, it enters the body and the organs, kidney, and urinary bladder. So first, we have the UB2. Ang location in a depression at the medial end of the eyebrow directly above the inner cantus of the eye. Point explanation, often a painful point in the frontal sinusitis and menstruation-related headache. Needle should be given at an angle either towards the nose in sinusitis or the eye of my headache. Next, we have the UV10. Location, approximately 1.3 tune lateral to do 15, where the trapezius muscle inserts on the lower border of the occiput, close to where the major occipital nerve emerges. So point explanation, <coughs> explanation, a tender point in occipital headache should be needled high into the hairline. Points UB2 and UB10. When patients complain of pain from the forehead to the occiput, we find this to be a neck-related pain. This could be either on the urinary bladder meridian or it could be on a gallbladder meridian, as both these meridians flow in this area. Look for the tender points in these areas, concentrating on points UB2, GB14, UB10, and GB20. This would usually give me an idea as to which meridian is affected. Please bear in mind that both could be affected at the same time. But if you find that the UB points are more tender on pressure, these patients often have a history of backache and women often have painful menstruation. If so, this problem should be, would need to be treated to alleviate the neck or occipital pain. Next, we have the UB11. Uh, this is located on 1.5 tune lateral to the posterior midline on the, low, on the level of the lower border of the spinous process of the first thoracic vertebra. T1 with hanging shoulders on the level of the acromion. Point explanation, this is the influential point for bone. This point is used in musculoskeletal problems. Next, we have UB12, which is located 1.5 June, lateral to the posterior midline, on the level of the lower border of the spinous process of the second thoracic vertebra, E2. Point explanation, this is a wind elimination point for the neck, lung, and skin. It is used in allergic asthma, skin irritations, and pains moving up and down the back. Next point, UB13, which is located 1.5 June lateral to the posterior midline on the level, level of the lower border of the spinous process of the third thoracic vertebra, or T3. Point explanation, the back shoe point of lungs. From where we begin with back shoe points, these are points that are re related to each of the 12 organs and are mainly used to improve their functions. The back shoe points are used with extra therapies such as capping, boxa, and massage.